Well, actually, hello to nobody, because there's nobody here as of yet. Not yet. Hi, everyone. Matessa says hello. What um, is the boobal? Would you like what we do? Google says hi. She's right there. What do you do? And so we are live. Because um, Tess said we were going live. So we are. She has not told me what she wants to talk about or what I should ramble about. I'm not always in charge of that. You just uh, enjoy Well, since you're the producer, yeah, you are. You just enjoy hearing yourself talk. Uh, looks like there might be someone watching now. Ooh. Maybe. Ooh. Uh, just as me as a participant. I don't know if there's anyone else here. Your two bits? Shave and a haircut. Two bits. <laughs> These bits. But let's just go ahead and swap that out. Are you putting in a big one? Yep. <gasps> Hello, Thomas Siebold. How are you? Hey, Thomas. Or the story of Dory. Sorry. Sorry. Hi, Elda. Hi, Elda. Hi. You. Hey, Thomas. We send you our love. We do. And your wife, too, man. I hope everything is going yeah. as well as can be. We've been really worried about you both. Um, like, really, really worried about you both. I'm, I'm not sure what we are doing today or what our plan is today. Um, the Tessa has not informed me what we're talking about today. Anything and everything that comes to mind. And if anybody has any questions, too, feel free okay. to ask. It's a little dark in here. It's a little bit dark, but it's also because the sun's still up. And that's really bright, right back there. What's good, and uh, Eldob is very excited that she can make it to this one. Yes, that's also why I was like, we need to do it earlier today. Cause, Which, because yeah. I think she's missed all of our lives. No, she's been in a couple. She's been in a couple? She's been in a couple. Okay. Well, and I love it. I love that's everybody good. when they, you guys all show up. It really means a lot to us. It like, does. A lot, a lot. We really appreciate people coming to be here. Sorry, I'm not like, ignoring uh, this one. My phone's going on. And the story of Dory says, Thank you for the support. It will be a rough journey, but we'll do this to thank you. Yeah, and then, you know, we'll do whatever, however we can to help. I mean, whatever we can do. I mean, I can pretty much only supply emotional support right now because uh, that's all that I can do. Um, but if you need somebody to talk to, man, you got, you got, I mean, Man, I get it. The whole hospital thing. Trust me, I yeah. I, I get it. Um, and Eldub is happy that we stream. Peace. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can hear a fan in the background or not. If you can, let me know, and I'll direct it that way. Um, and the other is the Boopo is growling at her towel right now. Her giant tuggy towel. Well, that's good. I'm glad that we could help you out and assist you in any way that we can. This um, is the story tuggy. of Dory. This is her tuggy towel. It's an actual full-size bath towel. That she drags around and growls at. Yes, because that is her bath towel. Yeah. Sorry, trying to assist. The, anyway, the things with yeah. words and so, uh, letters. Things that are slightly different. I cut off almost all. All of my hair. And I'm sad about that. I like the little hair. I have, I still have some hair up here. Yeah, Not you're Mohawk, and I like that too. Uh, and I got rid of all the facial hair. He looks like he's 12. I, I don't look like I'm 12 right now because they can see a little bit of scruff. See, L Dub says I look good. I mean, I'm no post Malone, but I think I look good. <laughs> I think you look good too. It's growling at me again. It growls a lot. Um, <laughs> I, I, I could tell that you love uh, Post Malone because I was looking through your Twitter feed. She was stalking you on Twitter because, you know, I don't. I was not. Up. I was actually on your phone looking through your Twitter feed. See, he stalks you on my phone. Whatever. Cause... Hello, Aaron. It's good to see you. Hi, Aaron. Welcome. Aaron, I, I'm thinking of doing something stupid if his channel gets to 100 subs. It's probably going to make me cry. So, uh, Aaron said to, that he left a message for the story of Dory on his Facebook. Yes, I saw it. Okay. How stupid are we talking, Aaron? Um, 
You know the thing that Philip did earlier with the spicy and so crying? The thing about it to remember is the I'm, Tessa I'm, has... I'm, almost, uh, I'm not sure how many of you guys watch Spongebob. Hey, shut up! <laughs> but she frequents Super Weenie Hut Jr. A lot. We don't. Because uh, she, she thinks jalapenos are spicy. I, I can eat those now and I don't have a problem with it. I don't whine about those. Shut up. Yeah, now you're still whining about poblanos. Not poblanos. I don't Sorry. like poblanos. <laughs> and Anaheims. I can eat Anaheims too. Uh-huh. Sure you can. I, I, I will make sure my body can handle it. I mean, there might be a lot of cursing and crying. Yeah, we don't want anything untoward to happen with digestion and things because that, that's I already have fun. enough problems with that already. Um, yeah, they do carry them at Asian supermarkets. I'm not sure if uh, they have any in your area there, Elda, but we do have them here. See, she just needs to come and visit us in America and then take us home with her back to camp. Back to Canada. 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 You just, you just need to come visit us here and take us home with you. See, Philip was supposed to kidnap us, and he didn't. So. Oh, well, it all depends on what part of Canada. What part of Canada, Elda? Because. Because uh, you know. I, I'd rather stay on the Pacific Northwest. I want snow. I, I want to live in the rainforest where there's rain and trees and fungus. I also want snow. Nope, rainforest. Snow. Nope. Snow. You can have your snow. You can go to Greenland. They've got plenty of it there. Snow. Um, um, you can also order. I think you can also order them off uh, Amazon. Yep, you can order it off of uh, Amazon. Shows in uh, NB close to Maine. Oh. So she gets uh, discounts on lobster and things like that there, you know? One of his really good friends from World of Warcraft lives in... Oh, yeah. Where does Anon live? Uh, Anon, he lives... Uh, I'd have to look it up here. Uh, it's north of us. Because it's in Canada. Uh, I think it's Edmonton. Yeah. I'm not sure. And I have a friend of mine who lives in Alberta as well. As my phone makes stupid noises. Yeah, his phone makes lots of noise. Lots of stupid noise. But, you know, all the supports for everybody. This is this is this is really kind of weird because I'm in the strain, but I also so he doesn't. I don't have to get up and get like super close to the camera. I read it on my phone. Yeah. So I can answer questions. He lives in Edmonton, which is in Alberta. Oh, we want to come to Canada, Elda. Please, please trust me on that. Yeah. The biggest reason that we haven't moved yet is because I'm we're taking care of my parents, and I'm an only child. Yeah. And we can't leave his mom either. And uh, the story, very. I'm actually very glad to hear that you actually are in a better mental place than you were yesterday. Yeah. Um, I was really worried about you, man. We've been very worried about you. We both were, because, like I said, I, I, I under, from, from, I don't understand exactly what you're going through, but I understand what you're going through. And, uh, yeah, it's that on a slightly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Come here. Oh, say hi to say say hi. She sends her love to she sends her love to to your wife and to you and to Dory. All the love, all yes. the love, and to everybody else too. She says hello to Eldab, to Aaron, and to Story of Dory. And Story of Dory. She's uh she's getting fixed on uh in two days. In two days, she's she's gonna be. <laughs> She's getting fixed in two days. So, um, yeah, she's she's going in for a little bit of surgeries. She's getting a nose job because her nares or her nostrils are a little pinched, so she has a little bit of a problem breathing. 
And she's getting fixed because we don't need any extra puppies. No, there's too many of them out in the world right now. And we're fixing her. She has an umbilical hernia, which is pretty common for Shih Tzus. Yeah, because the little noses are smushed. And I will try to see if we can actually get a good view of this. Um, maybe. Okay, we need better light. She has shark mouth right now because none of her puppy teeth. So here, it has got right there. She's not going to let us show you. You don't lick daddy's fingers. She has two sets of teeth right now. She has her adult yeah. teeth, but her puppy teeth have not fallen out yet. Yeah. She's so, growing her adult teeth in. Yeah. And her puppy teeth have decided, eh, I like it in here. It is nice and cozy. Well, the sun's going down a little bit. Fun. Yeah. It's still too bright. Sorry. I still need to get you guys a... Uh... Yes, we are getting her fixed. Um, yes. Yes, we because are. Because the reason we're getting her fixed, Aaron, is one... Um, the breeder we got her from, we signed a contract. It's number two. That's the second reason. Uh, the first reason is... And the number one reason is <laughs> there are way too many animals in the States that Get put down. are being put down because they don't have homes to go to. Yeah. And we, we don't want to contribute to that at all whatsoever. And no, Erin, we didn't break her. She was already broken. We bought her broken. Yeah, we did. So, you know, if you guys want to hear more dad jokes, I have a lot. You have dad jokes, but you're not a dad. I'm a doggy mommy. Yeah. So, I'm going to put the booble down, though, because she is nonstop Sporty. attacking my fingers. <laughs> so, so, if you guys have any questions or want to ask anything to, to talk about, feel free. I also need to record a video for DDB. Yeah, we can do that later on because you did, you do need to do that for him. Because I need to send him a video to teach him how to say something in American Sign Language. Which I think will be awesome because he's Canadian and it's really not useful there. <laughs> he still has a lot of viewers here in America too. That's true. And he That's is true. He, he did he did go to Jersey. He did go to Jersey. So Yeah, well. And it was uh, interesting uh, on the dual stream that happened on that. That was awesome. Where Aaron was streaming and DDB was streaming. That and was kind of fun. That was fun because I was bouncing back and forth. And I was actually bouncing back and forth on both my phone, which I stream on, like when I watch everybody stream. And you don't stream on your phone. You watch people stream. I watch people stream on my phone, and that's how I cut. <laughs> and we watch it on our big TV over here on our Xbox, and I was bouncing forth between both channels. That's because we, we like to give you guys multiple views at the same time. So we can. to uh, answer the story guard's question, he said uh, he wants to know who is the person on the screen that looks kind of like Zomblu. Um, that would be his evil twin brother, um, who's a little bit more clean shaped and has shorter hair. Uh, we all know that Zomblu is a much cooler guy. Um, are, are, you, are you saying that I'm cheating on my husband with you, my husband? Yes. No. <laughs> Maybe. Um, and Aaron is excited for because, tomorrow's vlog. Yeah. So it's a little bit of a... a uh, we, we have advanced warning that a new vlog is going to be coming out. Ooh! All right. After I get done grooming my vet's dogs, I'll pop in and watch it, Matt. Hey, Russ. How's it going? Hey, Russ. Welcome. And um, we have an Xbox One to answer your question. Um... And we also both game on our laptops, too. And uh, we both game on our laptops. That's what I'm streaming from is my laptop because I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a nerd. I play the video games, and I like playing the video games. Did you games? Because I, 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 I like me some video games. Friend I should him. friend you. Oh. Um, yeah, I would have to. I don't have Xbox Gold right now. You can still uh, add can still people. add, though. Um, I'd have to get that turned on. Um, and you can actually, or if you want to send, I linked his Twitter profile on my Twitter. If you want to send him a private message, that way you're not putting it out for people to like. I don't care. I can put my gamer tag on there. People can add me or they can not. Yes, but I don't want them harassing Russ. Well, that's why I'm going to put my gamer tag out there, not oh. his. Okay, so that's fair. Turn that on. We just have to mute it. Yeah. Well, there's not going to be any music going on. Yeah, there's no music going on. Let me grab my phone because I think it's... Let me just check it there. And you know, Russ, you can add me as well, too, because I'm on his thing. 
I'm just trying to remember what my gamer tag is because I have the memory of a net fly on heroin. Oh. Russ sent you uh, to call him or to do you do texts? Because we can text. I actually, I think I have you on my Google Hangouts. I could uh, send you a uh, request through that. Uh, oh, okay. Well, we're going to call you anyway. We're going to just call this random number and they're going to be like, who is this? Or we're like, I don't know. Well, he gave me the first six. There's four. <laughs> we're messing with you, man. There's four other numbers there. It was a com possible combination of 9,999. So if I start dialing now, I could probably find out what his number is by tomorrow. <laughs> um, but. Well, Elle, if you were to harass Russ, you have to record it so we can watch and enjoy it as well. Yes. Because that would be that would be kind of funny. Just do a massive, massive troll chat with all of us. Just weird, being weird and awesome. L Dub is awesome, and so are you, Russ, and so are you, Thomas, and you, Aaron, and I love you guys so so very much. Uh, I'm not sure which one it's listed under. Give me the controller. I, I don't have the controller. Shut up! Oh no! Shut up! You see my pants. You're wearing them. So, we were talking about funny stories the other day. Um, I had been working at a Zombru. call center. Z-O-M-B-R-U-E. Yeah. Zombru. So, my Xbox gamer tag is Zombru. Ooh, there's musk in here. I thought that was just you. Yeah. <laughs> Aaron's taking all your musk, man. I know. Uh, what was the saying? So, I've been working double shifts at uh, this call center. And uh, I had gotten sick while I was there. And this is one of Tessa's favorite stories because when I get <laughs> sick, um, except for the time when I was in the hospital, um, I didn't have man flu there. But outside of that, I have man flu. Um, if you're not familiar with what man flu is, if you get a light cold, it kills you. Um, we look up at you and go, I'll miss you. Oh, yeah. See, you're my favorite person. No, it's awful. So I, I, I was dying from man flu. Um, at least I thought. And Tess was in the living room. I was making chicken ramen. And I was in our bedroom. We had lived with a couple of roommates. And I had apparently yelled down the hallway to her. In the I'm sick voice with, I can't find my pants. <laughs> was about the volume that I had on my voice at that time. <laughs> and what was your response? I don't remember now. The, probably at the foot of the bed. You <laughs> Check That's there. Check at the foot of the bed. They're probably there where you left them. So I look over, I <laughs> found them. Went, Thank you. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm sorry, all you men in this channel. Uh, it's a werewolf is what mine is. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry to all of you awesome men in this channel. Man flu, I have no sympathy. I'm sorry. I uh, went to work when I had pneumonia. Let me see that. It might be a different one. It might be uh, the blue one. No, he's not half man, half skeleton. No, it's, a, it's a werewolf is yeah. my profile picture. Yes. It should. I'm wondering if it's under something else. That, that, that a hair in my eye. My own hair. Ow. But, well, you shouldn't do that. That's bad for your eyes. Nobody tell them what I'm doing. Ow, that's my ear. <laughs> see, it can't be sneaky on camera because you can see it all. Especially when he smiles because he has dimples. I can't find the dimples. She's attacking my face. <laughs> dimples. Oh. I like the dimples. Okay. Russ, you could take up the strand. There's you four in here. We'll answer all no, questions. No, you're, you're fine. There's yeah, not seriously. very many people in here. It's quite all right. And it, it's it's. How do I find my game attack? It's 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 awesome because I know Russ, you and uh, 
you and Zombo here said, I remember in one of our last streams, you both studied something in common. Oh, yeah. We were talking about... Uh, and it's really kind of cool because I got all excited uh, I about I believe it. yours was in human sexuality and uh, rites of passage, if I'm not mistaken. Gender role reversals. Okay. So that that's uh, one of my favorite questions to pose to people is the idea of gender roles. Um, because uh, I, I know some people that are exceptional people that don't fit into the norms of what are gender roles are. Are you eating cardboard? Sorry. No, I'm not eating cardboard. Not you. Sorry, guys. Didn't mean to interrupt you. Continue, love. Um, Stop eating cardboard. If you're not familiar with it, uh, there's uh, there's a community Wait. out there of people that are amazing. amazing, but they're not. They don't fit in the binary system that they like to use in America. And Tess is playing with the lights. Um, <laughs> what I mean by that, there's I I know a. Um, from how I'm trying to figure out how to phrase this, how how they look um, phenotypically, how they are, how their genetics are expressed. They're a young man, um, but genotypically, by their genes, they are not. They are female. Uh, they have X Y genes, uh, but they have a condition called. Uh, critical androgen hypersensitivity. So during fetal development, they developed into a boy. Um, they developed boy parts and went through boy puberty. But according to their genetics, they're female. But, but you wouldn't tell that by looking at them. They're male by how they're expressed. So it, it's fun to play with the ideas of gender because... Uh, it, it, it changes your perspective the more you learn about things like that. It opens your mind. It does. It really does. And not in a bad way. But um, that might be for another... Sorry, that was a little bit... Uh, well, it's his stream, so he can talk about what he wants. I he's just there for some people and just a little wonky for others. Um, but uh, gender role reversals. So... Did you do any fun projects with that subject matter, Russ? See, this would be awesome for you guys to talk about. The, 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 I, I just, I'm, um, long story short, um, I'm playing with a puppy. I'm <laughs> sorry. Um, on that, I'm, I'm a little protective over our friends who have dealt with that. I, I know quite a few people that are in the uh, the DSD community or the disorders of sexual development. And yeah. Nice. Yeah. I I have a lot of friends in that community as well. As do I. Um, on a weird um, I know someone kind of famous note. Uh, a good friend of mine that I grew up with back in the days when I was a party kid, going to the clubs and partying all the time. Uh, one of the kids that I partied around with, he um, has changed his life drastically, to say the least. Um, he just finished up at Columbia University, university with his Juris Doctorate. Um, he was one of the main witnesses against the state of California to end uh, conversion therapy. And that is awesome. So he's actually was invited to the Supreme Court to hear and give part of his statements to the Supreme Court. So not only is he a lawyer now, but he's also been through into the highest court in the land. I thought it was kind of cool. That is really cool, actually. Sorry. It was fun. Sorry. It was completely fun. tangential. But that's what makes these streams fun is because you're kind of here and there and ADD everywhere. Well, I can't help it. It's, it's, I, I, have problems staying focused on one thing. But I think everyone does. Just, I don't know. Which goes back into the, uh, one of my favorite 
Dad jokes. Oh no, dad jokes are the best. And to everybody who's here, happy late Father's Day. Yes, that includes all of you that are fathers of either fur animals or actual animals or mm -hmm. humans. <laughs> actual um, animals. <laughs> Or humans, you know, or, or you know, single moms, or too. cats. Happy Father's Day. Le le or happy late Father's Day, yeah. as it were. Because sure. say lizards, not lazards. Lazards, like Lazarus. Okay. Yeah, if you take care of animals, or you take care of children, happy Father's Day yes. to you, or belated Father's Day. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, as far as my crappy joke that I was going to say is, uh, how many kids with ADD does it take to change a light bulb? Oh, a squirrel. To go ride a bike? <laughs> it's probably one of my favorite jokes because I'm like 12 sometimes. It's okay. But. It's okay. I don't know, I've been to kind of circle back here to uh, gender roles. Um, I'm not sure if you listen to NPR or National Public Radio. I know Tess uh, does not like it. I like music. She likes music. I like Ghost. I listen to music. NPR as I drive to work. Um, but really, really uh, they're doing a uh, piece on masculinity and how it's changed in the Americas. I think I'm 1A. Hello, Elda, and welcome back. Oh, welcome back, Elda. I'm sorry you have lame work, but we're glad that you have lame work so that you can be employed. Yeah, work is, work is good. Work is um, very good. But the, uh, I, I'm waiting to hear what's going to be happening on this NPR uh, piece about masculinity and that's well in society because uh, I want to probably respond to them on my own opinions and I have to take my medication. Yes, he does. So give me just a moment. What day of the week is it? It is it, it, Tuesday. It's Tuesday, love. It's Tuesday. Tuesday what? I'm looking at bad jokes. No, I'm not. You're not what? I'm lagging or you're lagging. Are we lagging? And uh, apparently I... Tess would like to see me wear her clothes, according to Erin. She won't ever. I've asked so many times, and I keep getting told, no, no, I am wearing, no. It's I, not that I, I don't I, want to. It's just that you don't have any clothes I want to wear. I'm sorry. I like my kilt. I, I really like your kilt, too, like a lot. Yeah. Kilts are fun. It's pretty. But that's um, not what I'm talking about. Well, <laughs> that's completely different, and this is a kind of family-friendly exactly. channel, so we're not going to be talking about other things like that. Exactly. Um, I'm not implying anything. I just want you to be pretty and sparkly for me. I'm already pretty, and I'm already sparkly. You're not sparkly enough. Hello, I have a huge honking piece of metal in my honker. I, you, need, you need sparkles everywhere. Everywhere? Like in your chest here. <laughs> So Eldub is also voting for a dress up, and Aaron has voted for a dress up, and Tessa is obviously ecstatic for a dress up. So I'm guessing, since everyone seems to like doing subscriber challenges, um, oh, oh, oh yes, it must happen now. We have spoken, says Elda. <laughs> Aaron wants me to dress down. Um, I'm not sure how you want me to dress down. Uh, do I have to be playing some club music for that, or is that a different type of dress down? No, you'll get a you'll get a you'll get a copyright strike. A copyright strike? Not a copyright strike. You know, if you play the music on there with the stuff and the content strike. That's that's uh, the word. Um, I have pretty things you can wear right now. <laughs> no, I I could dress up. Uh, I wore my socks. Those are no, pretty. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Age restriction. Yeah, we could do an age restriction. Ooh, well, mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we don't want to get a content strike because no. then our, our uh, we wouldn't be able to have advertisers on our channel. Because you know we're oh huge. no <laughs> we're huge. Um, are you calling me fat? 
I'm calling you voluptuous. That's right. Uh, <laughs> uh, what were we talking about? Curvaceous. Curvaceous. <laughs> you wearing my clothes. I mean, I do shop at Tor and you can fit into some stuff that I bring. No, home. okay. So, no, subscriber challenge. That's what I was going to uh, Yeah, I suppose if I get. Let's see here. Let's make it a believable milestone. Mm, say 60 subscribers. So pimp him out. I want to see him. I, I, I will do a, a stream in different clothes that are not the clothes I'm currently wearing. That are not your clothes that you wear at all, ever. My clothes. Husband. It doesn't have to be just your clothes. I could get costumes. Not man clothes. <laughs> I never said man clothes. You I could contact to. Jess. I, I could check with Corn. He might have some drag clothes from his days. We're about the same boat. I mean, I do look good in eyeshadow. <laughs> yes, Hello, DDB. <gasps> it is good to see you. Hi, welcome, DDB. Thank you again for wishing my dad a happy Taking birthday. Taking a small break from editing tomorrow's Aaron's vlog and saw that I was lying. Yes. Thank I need you. Yep. <laughs> that is uh, apparently Russ's next super chat is Zombra needs 60 subs for a surprise live stream. Yes. Oh, yes. Apparently. Yes. Great. That would be awesome. You don't understand right. what you just got yourself into, boy. <laughs> so apparently for my 60 subscriber special, uh, if you're just now tuning in, DDB, I'm going to be in... Uh, not my own clothes. <laughs> I'm going to be in probably Tessa's clothes or I mean, a friend's clothes. Mm -hmm. um, that's, a, that's a huge milestone for me. And if once he gets 100, I will eat the same thing you ate today, uh, Philip. And she has decided for herself she's going to do on our 100 subscribers the um, twice hot chicken noodle ramen challenge. Yeah. Which I don't think she should. I'm going to try. try. She's going to get one bite to go, oh no, it's too hot. To <laughs> Shut up, probably. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have we have a couple of the pepper masters here who could probably give me some pointers. Yeah, eat a banana, drink some milk beforehand, so it preps your stomach. Um, you cry a lot. Don't tell her secrets? Okay, I, I won't tell her secrets. All my secrets about me crying? I will tell her all of her secrets. No. She's not um, the one who told any of those secrets. I admitted to it. Jessica Callaway needs 100 subs to do the two times spicy noodle live on YouTube. Is It'll the be. next super chat after that. Well, it'll have to be on his channel because I have, I'm like Natalie, so I'm following in her footsteps. I only put out primo content. Like, pre his, his content's primo, but. Things I find. I farted, excuse me. I'm not sure if you guys heard that, but I need to apologize <laughs> just in case you did. Um, so, see, DDB, you have to tell SM that. Why are you humping the towel? David, shush! Not on live stream. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so sorry, guys. That's not family friendly. Sorry. sorry I looked down and the puppy was um, attacking <laughs> the towel. <laughs> I had to figure out why she was doing that. <laughs> He would have to announce it. Holy Jesus. Please start again louder. Uh, okay. I will try. Um, I do eat a high fiber diet, so oh, there'll be more later, probably. Oh, God, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. I'll that was the chair squeaking. I'm not sure what chair she sits in at work if it squeaks like that. <laughs> I'll never work because those do a lot, actually. You don't wear skirts, so you don't know that hassle, <laughs> jerk. Yeah, well, well, the, the, the thing about it, and um, by the way, DDB, I mentioned this earlier, but you weren't in the stream at that time. Happy belated Father's Day. Um, and again, Philip, thank you so, so very much for wishing my dad a happy birthday. I snuck my phone down there while he was streaming and turned it out that he really loved it. Yes. Like, he really enjoyed it. I also found out that uh, our YouTube community is amazing. Yeah. That's all I have to say about that. You guys are actually amazing. I'm glad that 
you guys come around and listen to me ramble about complete nonsense. It's not nonsense. We're, oh, telling, totally we're telling fun stories. It's amazing. We don't have like awesome content like the others, but we tell, and I mean, we show puppies. Puppies says puppies. And Diggy B says, thank you, Tessa. It's our pleasure. I'm positive that your dad's a great man. He is. He's, like I told you uh, earlier, he's. That is a unicorn horn, but it is a unicorn horn hair clip. Well, yeah, that's, this is, why angry, this is why angry unicorn is so mad is because we took his original horn. See, it's, it's one of those little hair tricky things. And I look fabulous now. <laughs> so baby. Actually, I have a picture up on my Facebook of him with a dog bow in his goatee. His mom is a crazy dog. <laughs> um, there's also a picture of me on Facebook with uh, full stage makeup on. Oh my god, I love it. I would pay for that. I I would. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> like you don't, you have no idea. I don't know, but the, the, what was, what was I going on about? Um, I don't remember what I was going on about. Oh, well, no, because I, I know, I know it would be awesome to, you know, with the dress on that, the amazingness. That's, that's all you're thinking about is the next live stream where I have to do a challenge and be in clothing. After, well, after, after you get to 60 subs, yes. Which, uh, continuing at 46, it's not that far away. Excellent. <laughs> Well, I mean, I do have to go back to Tord to look for our new Ren, my new Ren Fair outfit. So maybe we could pick something up for you so there. So our, our mutual maybe. friend, we've talked about this guy before, Kitty. Um, my best friend. Her best friend. He has decided that he is tired of kilts and wants to bring back skirts for guys. Um, and I'm actually kind of all for that. So am I. Because they're so comfy. Um, guys, if you haven't worn a skirt before, you should try it at least once. Or a kilt, whichever, if you're more comfortable with that. It's awesome. It is awesome. They, I'm, I'm surprised that we haven't tried to reclaim this earlier. But uh, that's what we need to do is reclaim skirts and See. dresses and kilts. Because they were originally for men. They were men's clothing, if you look at the history. And then women decided, oh, those are awesome. We're going to take them. <laughs> like they took our mascara and our lipstick and our nail polish. You never let us all do stuff for guys. You never let me do anything fun. Ever. And L Dub says she can't remember the last time she wore a skirt. I Tessa wore, wore one on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Sunday. But that's that that falls back into the I'm a spooky goth girl and I have to wear all black clothing. Aaron likes uh, DDB's uh, Togo wardrobe. Yes, yes. Um, I did not wear a skirt today. I wore a kilt today. Um, There's pictures of that up on my Facebook as well. Because I like my kilt. I love it. Um, DDB has worn a skirt before. That's because DDB is awesome. Well, yeah. Well, DDB is, is awesome. He is. But you're pretty. You look so pretty in this skirt. Apparently, Russ wore a skirt the other day, too. Did you, Russ? Well, according to Elda. Oh, see? See? Well, this has gone interesting places. We all want to see everybody else wearing skirts. Good to know. See? Skirts are fun. I don't know what happened to my chin. You broke and it. It's back. You broke right. it. Oh, no, Russ corrected. He wore a sundress, which is completely different than a skirt. Even better. See, I have some dresses that would fit him, too. Sundresses are okay. Skirts are way better. Well, sundresses are okay, except for, you know, I don't go out in the sun because it's scary. Oh, you know, the problem with skirts, though, is most of them don't have pockets. That's why you need a sporen to put your stuff in. Or as Tess likes to call the sporen. Well, crotch purse. Because <laughs> that's where it kind of hangs. You need to remember family friendly. It is a it is a it is a yes. gentleman heart purse. And because uh, I love that. I, I love and by the way, DDB, you know how the LAB says 
have a good day. I think scrolling up should be your have a good day. I would so wear that on a shirt, man. Or have it on a sneaker. <laughs> Apparently, my, your translation of what a sporen is amuses Zelda. Well, it does, because that's what it is. <laughs> and uh, I, I agree, DDB. Or Philip. Um, as long as they're not trying to lift it up, it's fine to wear a skirt. Um, the reason that I like the kilt is actually uh, one of my managers at work uh, has the same idea on wearing kilts as I do. In the workplace, we wear them so we can have that lovely HR conversation because we're waiting for someone to say, what are you wearing under there? So we can be like, is that an appropriate question to ask in the workplace? <laughs> Would you ask that of her? I think we should go to HR. I might ask that. <laughs> um, but, but that's only because I'm a girl and I'll not go. Not scroll up, Erin. Scrolling up. Scroll, oh, scrolling up, not scroll up. That's scrolling right. up. Scrolling up. I love it. I love it. That I needs to it. be DDB's shirt. That needs to I, be DDB's like, his, his catch. Like, totally. Because why do I have a big... What is this? Is that sun? <laughs> That's yes. <laughs> See this white spot on my face, and I don't know what it is. And I love you in a platonic and friendly way. Yes, on I a love, shirt. I love that because it is. I love it. It's so. That's sweet. a good one. It is. It's so very sweet. Um, it, it is. Because we know, we know you have so much love to give DDB, but you don't want to give some people the wrong idea. Because I'm right. pretty sure you might get some of those creepers that are like. Hey, hey, DDB. Hey. You know, like angry unicorn. Well, well, it, it's, it brings up a very good point. And um, the point that I wanted to talk about here, actually, since you reminded me of it, is we all kind of met because of East Nation. a streamer that is very popular here on the YouTubes. He's um, awesome. He has a nation of people that follow him. You yeah. can say it is the Beast Nation or the LA Beast Nation or we could just be talking about LA Beast himself um, and how his audience base, some of them got very offended when they found out that he might be seeing someone. Yeah, and I don't get that. I, I don't understand that. But then again, Tess, you do kind of get it in a weird way because what was your reaction when you found out that Tom Hiddleston was dating she what's was her name? Awful. Taylor Swift. She was so you got offended and upset, even though we were married, that Tom Hiddleston was dating Taylor Swift. You got upset about that. So why did you get upset? I don't want to offend anybody here if they like her. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you dated, like, I don't know, um, I don't know. If you dated L Dub, I would be so happy with that. I'd be like, oh, yeah, oh, 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 yeah, all over that. Tom Hiddleston was dating L.W. You'd be fine with that. Mm -hmm. But not Taylor Swift. I don't like her. Okay. Is it because she... If, if Tom Hiddleston... Mm -hmm. That is Tessa's uh, celebrity crush. Is Tom I Hiddleston? Have, I have like seven. I have uh, way too many celebrity crushes. If he was dating Mila Kunis, I'd be happy. What's that? LDAP doesn't know who Tom Hiddleston is. <gasps> Have you seen the <laughs> Avengers? He's Loki. Uh, he was also... He was in Crimson Peak. He, he was, was Tom Sharp. Main character in Crimson Peak. Um, um, what else has he been in? I don't know. I just know him as Loki, and I want to yes. test him as Loki. And why are you licking my ankle? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have an ankle biter. We have an ankle licker. Um, okay, that's fine. That's fair. Um, he he is a uh, actor. Oh, Elda, here you follow me on Instagram. He's he's the he's the here. Let me just, I'll just get him. She's getting down one of her action figures, or as I like to call them, don't her, you dare <laughs> her dollies. <laughs> I hate you. It's, this is this guy. This is Loki from the Avengers films. It's Tom Hiddleston. It's Tom Hiddleston. You can see he has luxurious long hair. 
taking off his pretty pretty headdress. I'm sorry, I do not play with dolls. He's an action figure. He plays with dollies. He's an action figure. Shut up. He's posable. <laughs> it's a dolly. <laughs> that means your art. That means your your Illidan is a dolly. Yeah, I know they're dollies. <laughs> it's not an action figure. It doesn't do any action by itself. It's a dolly. You're a dolly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he looks like a Twilight guy. Teddy Daughter Broadcasting. No, out. that was Elda. <gasps> no! I'm so sorry, DDB. I, I still love you, Elda. Tom <laughs> Hiddleston is pretty. DDB almost spit out his teeth because of how I say dollies. <laughs> <laughs> and Aaron thinks he looks like Data from Star Trek. I like that, too. Had a child with a Klingon and was made into an action figure. <laughs> what? Huh? He says that Loki looks like uh, Data from Star Trek had a child with a Klingon and then made it into an action figure. You guys are no fun. Actually, you guys are fun, and I love you. All of you. Yeah. She's gonna go play with her dollies. I'm gonna. <laughs> the reason I say it like that is if you follow her on Instagram, she um, she has a little storyline that she takes pictures of her to. Dollies. You're a dolly. Uh, sorry, her toys. Dolly. <laughs> um, no, she didn't have sub from you, Aaron. She loves Why you way too much. Why would I have sub from Aaron? Why would I have sub from any of you? But yeah, it, it, I, I like this community here because we met all through. That's how I got into this community with City LA Beast and through how Tess got involved <laughs> in it. <laughs> She's got a handful of glitter now, and if she gets glitter on my new computer, I'm going to uh, be sad. She's painting me with glitter. I'm fine with her painting me with glitter. Um, so, see if you look here, if you see DDB, I have been attacked by glitter <laughs> viciously. viciously, maliciously, and now it will never leave my face. I tweeted about it earlier too. I found back when we were the before the marriage times. I'm a Twilight vampire now. Great. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go to high school all over again <laughs> and meet someone who doesn't have any facial expressions. That's exactly what I wanted. A hard to your head. Now you were loved. <laughs> now I have um, a heart on my forehead and glitter all over my back. <laughs> See, DDB, you're not the only one who has to deal with the glitter. See, I live with this. <laughs> it's in our house. There's no getting away from it. When we were first dating, I'm not sure if you follow her on Twitter or not. She All of shared, you do, because okay. they're amazing and I love them. All of them. She shared one of the tweets that I had sent her, which was the ode to the piece of glitter on my cheek. We were, we were dating just yet. Yeah. Actually, oh. actually, DDB, I, I was thinking about this earlier because of the glitter post. Um, this man here is a gentleman like all of you men here. Because when before we were even dating, we went to go see a movie and he kept placing his hand on my leg and then he go, Oh no, no, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to put place my hand on my leg. Like force of habit, you know, you're comfortable, you put your hand over and then I realized that my hand was on her leg. I'm like, oh crap, I need to get my hand off there. I don't have permission to do that. It was so sweet and cute. Yes, Tessa does have a cloud of glitter surrounding her and it is a cloud of joy. Well, to be honest, guys, um, I'm actually happy that she's playing with her glitter again because she hasn't in a while. And about in exactly six months, actually. Um, Sorry. So. My glitter is, you know, the thing I would wear when I was happy. Yeah. So. I'm all everywhere today. I'm so okay. sorry. I'm like, Wee. don't ever apologize for your much. Did you ever. guys hear him on that too? And you. Know, that's, that's the one thing that I wish people would understand is you should never have to apologize for your emotions or how you feel. No one can tell you how to feel other than you. Yeah. So, sorry, you are the person that decides how you feel. I'm if you want to... sad songs with you, right? Oh, see? Oh, and Aaron, and Aaron had an idea for the, the, the platonic daddy-daughter broadcasting Aaron marriage. Yes. Because they both know that you officiated your best friend's wedding. That's true. He officiated the Colorado Phil's wedding. Yes. 
Colorado Phil. Colorado Phil is his best friend. Did you show him any of these videos? We were watching those. Okay. <laughs> you were watching Swedish. Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, it's okay to say sorry constantly. Just don't apologize for your emotions. That's completely different. Um, I I also am very apologetic. I apologize a lot. Like when I'm annoying Tess, I'll say that I'm sorry for annoying you. Or he'll say he's sorry for things he has no control over. Um. Well, that's good, Aaron. It's always good to ask for permission before you put your hand on uh, Philip's leg. But, yeah, that is true. Um, Excuse me, I'm going to go off camera to do this because it is. She's going to go blow her nose now. I want the, the cute little tissues that DDB has. Those are so cute with the puppies. Yeah. I don't know where his aunt got them and they were. Adorable. I don't know. Um. <laughs> But yeah, I, I will apologize for apologizing too much to Tessa, and that apparently really irritates her. Look, I'm um, sorry, I'm I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm like, sure, stop it. And not to poke fun at um, Canadians, but see, we'd be perfect in Canada, Phil. You were yeah, I'm, to I'm pick already us up. ready for the apology part for Canada. You were supposed to pick us up, Daddy John. And BDB says he does not know where Aunt Maggie got them from either. They're cute. They're very cute, though. Uh, what was I saying before that? Oh, yeah. Apologizing for your emotions. Don't do it. Experience your emotions. As long as you're not harming other people. Or yourself. Or yourself. Your emotions are good. There's a, I, I hate to sound so cliche about some things, but there are some things that we do that just let, um, Elle's working on getting her green card. Awesome. Oh, so. Elle, if you do that, you have to come to Colorado so I can touch you and hug you and be happy and give you flowers. Like happy flowers. I want to give my friends flowers. Don't look at me like that. I was just wondering what you were talking about. That's all. I'm not going to remember what I was saying. No. <laughs> um, yeah, you just smeared the glitter. <laughs> you didn't really get it off. You smeared it. Now it's worked into my facial. <laughs> Thanks. Um, DDB has been getting glitter out of his facial hair. Aaron, does your wife enjoy glitter? I, I, I'm not sure how to respond to that, though. I, I'm just going to leave that one alone. Okay. Well, I wouldn't. Oh. I would not touch you unless you were okay with it. Right. Because, because you know that's that's not that's not blame. Um. You just smeared it all over my glasses. <laughs> Thank you. I, I'm so glad that I have a wonderful, <laughs> loving wife that decides that she needs to spread glitter. All <laughs> over my forehead. No, it didn't get off the heart shape. No, but you've worked it down into my eyebrows, which is going to be great. Um, hooray. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm talking about emotions. What was I talking about? <laughs> Apologizing how it drives me oh, crazy. Because you're like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm oh, sorry. There's something else I was talking about. Don't look that. How much glitter and how much you hate my glitter everywhere. I don't hate your glitter. I hate that you just rub glitter on me randomly. Like, you're so pretty. You keep um, calling my action figures dollies. Uh, they are Get dollies. Their, not dollies. <laughs> <laughs> I so, can't brush their hair. The, the one thing that I think is, uh, I, I have no idea what I'm going to talk about now. Be very careful when you're sleeping. Is your it chair. right behind me? No, under your chair. By the wheels, and she's still. Uh oh. You were stuck here. Yes, I am. Oh, there yeah, was well, something I was going to say. I don't remember what it was. I do this randomly. You guys are throwing me off my, my, my train of thought. <laughs> it doesn't work. Does anybody remember what he was talking about? I don't think anyone does. Okay. They might. Uh, Aaron has to be up extra early tomorrow. Oh. He's going to a training class for work. You have a wonderful night. Um, have a wonderful Aaron, night. Aaron. I hope you have a wonderful night. 
Have um, a wonderful day. Thank you for stopping by our train. Yes, thank you so very much. It means a lot to us. It when does. You do, cause when everybody does, because it's awesome, because you guys are awesome. That's yeah. my word. It's awesome. That's the word of the day, is awesome. Everything is awesome. Um, sorry, it's from the Lego movie. Buenas noches, mi amigos, says Aaron. Bye, Aaron. Have a good one. Hug Mabel for us and your wife. Nice. Uh, and uh, so everyone is saying goodbye, Aaron. Because Aaron is awesome. He needs to sleep. Yes. Sorry if I look uh, making weird faces. I'm trying to remove the stem from my nectarine without bruising it. Because I like fresh fruit. Yeah. <laughs> he did it. He did it. It is awesome. It's a She's making fun <laughs> of the way I pronounce things now. Great. What the, the way you pronounce things? I think it's adorable. Oh, DDB, since you're here, I oh. have to teach you something right now. So I need you to uh, watch. So what I'm going to show you is it's how to say to make a blog for it too. your channel name in American Sign Language. So we're going to start with the, the five shape here. Put it right here off the heart. And that's daddy. And you take a hand right here, almost like a C shape almost. This is daughter. You bring it down to your arms here like you're cradling a baby. Daughter. So it's daddy, daughter. And then broadcasting is broadcasting. So because you're putting it out there. So your your channel name in sign language is daddy, daughter, broadcasting. Jurassic. There you go. I have taught you a thing. Now go do the thing. What was the other one? Do Russ? Russ? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if that's how I, 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 I don't know how to say uh, yeah, yeah. But is me. So take an I. Is. And then you take your pointer finger and you point to yourself. Me. So is me. So you could just go with Y A Y A for Yaya. So you can go Yaya is me. Well dub. Well dub. DDB wants to keep the stream up after. I, I keep all of my streams up. Um, so feel free to look at them. Um, feel free to look at them. Um, and for reference, DDB, that was at about the 57 minute mark, roughly your 56 minutes or so, right around there for that. Um, I'll also post you a small video um, of that just for you. Russ um, also did his and that's cool too. L dubs, um, I'm not sure if she's gonna want just the letter L or if she wants dub <laughs> as well. I'm not sure the sign for dub, I'd have to look that one up. Okay. But L is very simple, it's an L. Um, but I gotta remember you guys are backwards on my camera, so it's an L. <laughs> um, let's see here. And Aaron's would just be spelling his name out. Um, now the thing is, the reason I mentioned it specifically like that with American Sign Language is much like spoken language, every country pretty much has their own sign language um american sign language and french sign language are very 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 similar um because uh the man that brought sign language to the americas was i believe his name was jean sinclair i could be wrong but he was french his name sign is to take a j so j and it's a scar because he had a scar down his face um, but he was the one that brought sign language to the americas so a lot of the sign that we use in american sign language is french based um, much like the english language it's a hodgepodge of all the languages in the world what we do with our language is we mug other languages in the middle of the night and rifle through their pockets for spare grammar and extra words and she rubs the glitter <laughs> in my head Right. As uh, DDB pointed out, not surprising. The French and English are exactly the same alphabet, except that 
We say Z and the French say Z. Oh. Uh, Laurent Clerc and Tom Gallaudet. Hopkins. Gallaudet. That's, yeah. the, that's, that's the deaf so school. So Thomas Hopkins Gallaudet. Um, is, there's a university named after oh. Thomas Hopkins, which is Gallaudet University. That's in Washington, D.C. It is the only university in the Americas that is specifically for hard of hearing and or deaf students. Um, it has its own name sign. It's a G and it's Gallaudet. It's Gallaudet University. Um, he actually did this other video I on went to his other channel that I love. UCCS, which is the University of Colorado at Colorado Springs. Um, here in Colorado Springs, we have a very large deaf community. Um, it's where the Colorado School for the Deaf and Blind is, is in the city. Um, I grew up in a deaf household. I am a CODA, which is a child of a deaf adult. You um, said the T again. And I love the T. I overpronounce T's. It's so cute, it's and I love it. Lauren. Claire, thank you for the correction on that. Uh, that is me. This one, it was a Jean. Um, I must be mistaken. That must be someone else that I'm thinking about. Now I'm going to have to figure that one out on who that was. Um, so I, I kind of grew up in the deaf community and learning about deaf culture. Um, and I also cheated when I was going to UCCS for easy credits to get some uh, easy credits for my degree. I took American Sign Language 1, 2, 3, and 4 um, just for the easy A because I didn't need to take those classes, but I needed extra uh, classes. Um, I took deaf literature, deaf poetry, and deaf culture as well. Um, so I was two credit hours short of my minor in American Sign Language. Which I think you should have been because you could have, you know, been a translator too. I can't do a translator. I'm not very good at SimCom, which, uh, and DDB is opening up Peria in well, our honor. I was going to say, or bubble on. water. Hang on, DDB. Tess Ready? is going to open up her bubble water. My bubble water. It's King Super's bubble water. It is King Super's or the Kroger family brand of bubble waters. And, and this one tastes like an, an or orange, orange, orange vanilla creamsicle. flavor. It tastes like an orange creamsicle, and it's amazing. So, see? Cheers. Thank She's you. opening that, and she will have her bubble water, and I will have actual just plain water, because I don't drink anything carbonated anymore. Uh, Excuse me. Uh, Excuse me. Um, what was the thing? I don't know. Yeah. 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 So there. Are, so here. Yes. On his other channel for UCCS, he actually told a story in sign language, the alphabet, and I, I love it. So, in American Sign Language, there is a storytelling form called an A B C story, or A B C story, where you have to tell a story in American Sign Language using every hand sign of the alphabet uh, in excuse. order. Um, and I told a fishing story with mine because uh, I took the A as my fishing rod, B for reeling it in, C for grabbing my drink, I don't remember what the D was for. It's been many years, but that was actually for a class um, She's under your chair. that I posted that. Uh -oh. don't, don't move. I'm not She's moving. Under your chair. Um, that was actually part of the uh, grade was uh, the teacher for deaf literature and deaf culture. Um, he required us to do a video ABC story to show um, what we were doing with uh, sign language to make sure that we understood and how to tell a story. And DEB um, actually has a very good one. And it's also a great learning and practice game as 
uh, DDB mentions is, is very true. Because if you can convey a story through sign with the letters, it, 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 it's really cool. Um, if it's okay with you, David, I, I, can I share it on Twitter so they can watch or it? Actually, here, I can just grab it oh, this way. Yeah, you should, because you it's awesome. Here? Well, I looked this up right You know, I can here. also post it, too, because I have access and I have YouTube up, and that's all. Oh, thank you, DDB. That's, you know... I love it. I love it. So this is ancient, and by ancient I mean this is 2011 is when this is from. That's when we were. That's when we first started dating in 2011. But that is my ABC story that I had posted for my UCCS final. So back when he was working graves and he couldn't sleep with me at, in bed, he didn't, you know, close his eyes and sleep with me um sorry i'm watching it while you are talking um i uh i used to watch this every night um also before we were like officially dating i had decided to uh make a very emotionally taxing time on him even more emotionally taxing because you know i missed him I forgot how silly this was. I like it. I think it's cute. I was also the first subscriber to this channel with this too. <laughs> um, this video has more views than this channel that we're broadcasting on it probably has of me. combined. It's probably because of me. <laughs> this one video. It, it, like I said, it's, it's probably because of me. Because but yeah. I would watch it when he was he went away to Chicago when I missed him. Uh, that was my ABC story. So if you guys are interested in seeing me tell a story through American Sign Language um, with the alphabet, feel free to check, check it out. Uh, but I think that's all that I have today. We're approaching about one hour and seven minutes. So I say about one hour and ten minutes when we'll call this. We'll start wrapping it up here. Um, and thank you guys all for thank you guys all for coming out. How do you say spicy? How do you say uh what was it? Because I know that Aaron, even though Aaron's in bed, I know that Russ has me and I know DVD is kind of getting into the spice world, and I know that L Dub has played with spicy stuff too. How do you say spicy stuff? I, I don't know how to say spicy stuff. I know how to say that it's hot, like hot. Hot. <laughs> um it, it depends. It's, it's a contextual one. I'll have to look that one up. Yeah, you should. Because um, that would be cool. If you guys are interested in learning American Sign Language, there's actually a, um ASL dictionary website. So you can look up words to see how to say them in American Sign Language. Um, that'll show you how to sign it, but it won't show you the how? context and to use it. Because an American Sign Language is very contextual based. Your face and body presence actually conveys a lot of the message with sign. Um, one of my favorite signs um, is a bad sign. Um, and it's not the American salute, which everyone seems to know. Okay. Uh, that just comes from New York. But uh, it's uh, actually, it's not a bad sign. It's coffee. Coffee is a good one. Coffee. So take a fist. And a fist like so, and you grind because you're grinding the beans. That's the sign for coffee. Coffee's a good one. We'll leave you at that one. That's a good one to nice and PC sign to leave you guys on today. And yeah, it's windy out. It's getting very windy out. Oh, but that temperature is so good. It's, it's nice and so cloudy. Nice. Coffee is life. Yes, yes, it is. And. For a while there, he couldn't have any, but now he can, and yeah. it was all good. I wasn't allowed to have caffeine for four months. Well, no, it's not that. You were allowed to have caffeine for four months. We just didn't want to make your anxiety worse. Right. I didn't want to make my anxiety worse. Exacerbate. Or exacerbate my PTSD. Because I don't want that to happen. I don't like having panic attacks. Mm -hmm. But I don't think anyone does. Panic attacks are fun. <sighs> not really. But I do want to thank uh, DDB, Elda, the story of Dory, Aaron, Russ, aka Yaya is me, or Yaya is me, 
Um, all of our amazing YouTube family that all of our amazing YouTube family that has yeah, come by and that is watching this later on, if you decide to watch it. Thank you for stopping by and giving our video a quick little look. We really appreciate um, it. Yeah. Before you take a mic. And the final word on here is going to be from the sleepy puppy. She's which, like, what are you doing to me? Look at her, look at her. A sleepy puppy. A sleepy and a puppy. <laughs> she is so sleepy. And she's so tired. <laughs> look at that. She's so mad. She fell asleep. Under I hope you guys have a good night. I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Thank you for joining our stream again. She's like, don't, don't hold me like that. <laughs>